insurance has a, a, a strange effect on some people. It's, it's to ensure something will happen or won't happen. And we kind of feel good about mm-hmm. that, whereas really in reality, we have no idea if, if we can stop that from happening. Yes. Right? Yes. Even now to the term of life insurance, you don't get life insurance, but you pay it. It's impossible for you to collect life insurance. You got to lose your life in order, order to get life insurance. Yes. But, but you're right. And then, but when you have it, you right. provide your family anyway some sort of assurance. That's who you, you want to leave that burden on. You're trying All to right. come up with. But you feel good about that because exactly. Life, but you're exactly. assuring that it's something's going to happen at the loss of yours. Right? Exactly. So you prepare. It would, seem like, it would seem like a bet that most people wouldn't take because usually you want to assure something to happen for you, but it makes you feel good at car insurance. You know, mm-hmm. I remember one time I heard a comedian say, we not pay car insurance every month in case something happens, but should not get something back if nothing didn't happen. <laughs> right, we're never nice. Right. <laughs> yeah, but right. it don't go like that. Right, know? it don't go like that. <laughs> you got to pay this insurance. You got to pay, right? Happen. Right. right, but then you should feel assured that if something do happen, yeah, I ain't got to pay this eight thousand dollars for this yeah. injury. You see, you oh, made the preparation. You were absolutely. prepared for. It. So that's the word, mm-hmm. preparation. You make it, no matter how hard it is for you to give up out of your life, but you make the preparation. You can't go into a new year watching two, three, four, five, six, seven years of the same type of thing happen. And don't think that some of that ain't gonna come over here. What did you do to assure? Assure. Yes, sir. It won't. Maybe the insurance paid off, maybe it did. But that's the same thing that we as warriors walk the street. We walk with the assurance that my training is gonna help me survive so that I can do my self-defense so that I can live a better life. Yes, sir. You know, when we greet each other in the in the school. We have an expression we say to somebody, train hard. Their response is live free. Live free. Train see, hard. Live free. So, so the, the hard training is something that you're putting out there. You know, teachers have been used to uh, use posts like this in the schools that I grew up in. Uh, uh, sweat in the school so you don't bleed in the street. Uh-huh. You see? Uh-huh. You know, but these are things that to let you know, fear not about the sweat you're sweating now. Because sweat feels like blood when it's on your body. You can't tell the difference till you look. Uh, until you look and see it. Yeah, but you need to know that when you are sweating, that it's sweat, not blood. I can't tell you how many times, I mean, me personally, I may have went like this, so. Oh, who blood is that? That blood is coming from, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, you got to get used to that thing of preparing for something. We prepare for our children, right? We prepare a path for them. We prepare, uh, you know, in some prayers, it's that I prepare a path for you. You know, mm-hmm. I walk the path of a righteous mm-hmm. man. It's mm-hmm. because the path is about, you know, I was served in Vietnam, and one of the most important people uh, uh, that was with us was the person who went on point. That was a that's a term used for somebody who walked ahead to make sure that you can walk in that path. Mm. Now, when he came back, you can go, he said, walk this way. If you want to walk a little bit off that, you see, that on you. Yeah, ain't nobody walked over there yet, but somebody yeah. walked back to tell you it was okay. Yes. We're losing that now. There are many, million, many masters who walked the path for us, told us the correct path, but we want to be our own master. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's another show. Mm-hmm. Well, I go down that road. He's trying to give us more to talk about the next time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Paving the right. way, right? I mean, yeah. and then, and then, um, you know, and then the other thing that you were talking about in the preparedness is the mindset shift, right? No, because you can't be fully prepared unless you shift that mind first to know, hey, this right here, this got to change first before Thank anything. You. Spirit mind, body. Exactly what I say. I don't say the mind, body, spirit. I used to say mind, body, spirit, but I'm like, no, it don't go that way. It's the spirit yeah. first because the spirit always knows first. And I'm learning That's that more and more. The longer that I, God allows me to live, even it's even like when we, we feel a little something in our stomach, maybe about a person or about a situation, and we might you know push it to the side and ignore it. But it's like, that's like the nudging that we can't ignore because the spirit is so much farther advanced than our flesh. 
Yes. You know, so it's like when we learn to start listening, and I'm the you know preaching to the choir, preaching to myself, start listening to that spirit, it'll never lead us the wrong way. It'll always give you that it goes before like that 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 analogy you just gave about like the soldier going before, it goes before us. Yes, ma'am. Right. And whether we like what the spirit, like I didn't wait, I've already seen that. Now you want to still act like you don't, you know, whatever the consequences are, what you know, that's what you're gonna to have to pay. There you go. There you go. Mm, that's good yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. And sometimes we lose our own way, you know. Yeah. But when we when we get around like spirits, yeah, you hear the, you hear the expression all the time, like-minded. Mm -hmm. and, and that's good. That's good to be like-minded. But we 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 gotta leave with our own interpretation of where we want to go. You know, a lot of us want to follow the road to success. So mm -hmm. we, can, we can just do what others have done and uh, sometimes fail and go, well, how come it worked for them and didn't work for me? Because the spirit leads you into a direction of something that's working mm -hmm. for you from within. And that's what you have to do. You know, um, by no means that, that I thought that I would be in the position that I am in the martial art, but I got led towards like-minded spirit and my teacher who led the way for me. And it was my position to be able to pick up that spirit and move forward. You know, like the expression of uh, 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 20 candles in a room, right? But only one is lit. If you lit the other 19 with, the, each, with that same candle, it wouldn't diminish the flame at all from the original one. Mm. And the light would the room would be brighter. So it doesn't when when candle one lights candle two, that same candle one lights candle three, four, and five, it doesn't mm -hmm. diminish from candle one at all. Nothing mm -hmm. can take from candle one. So we have to remember that, that those spirits are the light, and that takes us to fill the room. So the room is yeah. light and that more things can be seen. But when we when we start to think like there's lack in the world, there's not enough. For something to happen for me like all the money will be gone by the time i get there or all of the you know whatever it is that i'm looking for will be taken because i i shared with my brother a little too earlier so he went and did that before me and he stole it from me you know how you know how uh, our elders say it wasn't for you uh -huh. <laughs> you know because they, they're talking about they, they're talking about the lesson you should have learned from that so you can now develop what's for you you know, and a lot of times you, you're a developer for other people and you don't even know it, you know, because your job is, you know, your job is to serve. That's what you're here for, to serve. Yep. But serve you don't have to pick who you serve. Mm -hmm. You see, so you kind of want to always remember as being a servant of the most high of God that's that's right. that you're here to serve. So right. in your prayers, you say, God be well in, the, in your service. Yes. But, you know, and not you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say people pray for the wrong things, but but sometimes it's it's in the wording. You know what I mean? So yeah. sometimes that's why we say that what you put out in the world, you should say positive things on a frequent basis because you don't know which thing is going to get heard. That's right. Yeah. That's but, right. Uh, even 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 jokingly, because it's like when absolutely. we say it, you don't even know, like you know the spirit. They don't. We don't know when you when you let that thing whatever it is off your tongue. Even if it's a joke, yes. you know. So I said, you know, we make that make that joke, make that something positive, make that something that speaks life, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. instead of something that's you know negative or bad, or whatever. Because mm -hmm. you put it out in the universe, there it is, you know, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Oh, I was just yeah. joking. Well, you know what? It's power in what we say, whether you're joking or not. <laughs> so Absolutely. speak life, Absolutely. and that's what Absolutely. we as servant leaders. I mean, you know that that's what we should be, you know, really intentional about doing is you know, speaking life into whoever crosses our path or whoever's path we cross to speak life into them, leave them better than when, how you found them or whatever, because people are, you know, they're, you know, out here looking and searching or whatever. So that's, and that's when you talk about prayer, that's, that's my prayer. It's like, whoever, God, whoever you put, you know, in my path, let me, let, let, let our encounter be to, I left them or they left me feeling better yeah. than how, yes, and how we, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's so much evil that we're fighting against, you know, yes. and it's just so much so. But like you said, like minds come together and, um, you know, good energy and good spirit and all that. That's, you know, and that's why I love talking to you. I, I always, you know, I mean, I love, I love talking to you. I wish, I wish every conversation with everybody that I have would be so uplifting and the energy would just be so, but you know, people come from different, you know, beliefs and yeah. different, you know, whatever. And yeah, whatever. yeah. And it's good to know, it's good to know their path or to, or to, 
mm -hmm. uh, at least be able to tap into that spirit to understand another way. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. mean that from your way, but understanding is the ultimate thing for us to do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Because we, you know, the epiphanies that we have in life, uh, let's say from age 10 to 20, is entirely different from 20 to 30. And from 30 to 40, you know, so yeah. when you look back over that 30 yeah. years, yeah. Yes. So like, yeah. wow, how much I see now, the hindsight and whatever. Yeah, yeah you had to be a part of those experiences to, to know and to, and to give thanks that you made it through because often people don't. That's so true. Yeah. And that's so true. But I, so, okay, I still, I have a higher, um, uh, uh, what to say, uh, expectation of people mm -hmm. who have um, mm -hmm. practiced martial arts for many years and, you know, taught and trained or whatever i have a higher expectation and you know i you know how sometimes it's like you hear people putting their mouth uh, you know on somebody else and it's just like why <laughs> yeah really but, but no but it, in every profession titles titles mess us up they do. i say grand <laughs> poobah status <laughs> They, they yes, okay. because, like you said, they put expectations on things. And sometimes, oftentimes, our expectations are a little too high. This is how come um, you really got to see a person from, like you said, from the spirit forward. Yes. And usually the spirit will come out long before. You know, I have this thing where I say people send the representative of themselves. They don't really ever send themselves. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That representative can, you know, he's there to convince you of something. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm a nice person. I'm mm -hmm. powerful or whatever. Uh -huh. You, know, you have to check it. Do you believe me? <laughs> right. But it's so, okay. Do you notice that when it's like, I, 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 me, 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 my, 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 then those, those, those people, then you can yeah. kind of see, because it's not coming from a spiritual um, right. foundational place. It's all about right. them. Right. me and I and what I can do. It's like not that the creator gave you these gifts and talents, but you, so you want to put, you, you make yourself that, that master and that God. Yeah. Or and that's yeah. what you do, a, a whole different element right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, takes, it takes you out of, like you said, out of the expectation and go, wow, is this what this is about? Yeah. I don't, you know, I, I train a lot of uh, young millennial people and uh, for the most part, they don't like the term grandmaster. You know, I have to have long conversations with them about that. And, and the reason why is because they see so many charlatans that, that yeah. people that just don't, and they're going like, don't even try to call me. I said, well, you've been in the martial art over X, Y, Z. Nah, I don't even want a title like that. And, you know, because they don't want to be associated with those things. That's but me. Have, okay. Call me Deidre. But, but, <laughs> but you have to understand now. Now, get on you. Like, I know. You get on me. Now. I know. You got to represent that which you know is true. You yeah. know that there's true grandmasters in the world. You know that there's a purpose in, in leading the youth by uh, letting them understand that these people, like the Negrito in our villages, are the storytellers, are the people, are our ancestors that have that have weathered the storm and passed it to me. Now, for me to give it up, yes, sir. and not to mention the ancestors, I'm just as guilty as the people who don't want to. You absolutely got to re-educate them, and I think that's the so when we when we say come on cool and we say that we're giving praise to our ancestors, we recognize the ones that jumped off the boat. See, you gotta yes. talk about this. Yes. Because if you don't, the ones that, that stayed on the boat, that got here, that, that did everything to denigrate our ancestors, their stories get heard and ours, the truth never gets heard. Yeah, so right. I, I talk to people about that when it comes to today's modern tournaments. You very, very seldom will see a grandmaster sitting judging because they have been, they totally disgusted with what they see out there, all right, as far as what they deem as being martial art. So what they do is they simply don't even show up anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's an expression that water seeks its own level. You know, if there's no grandmaster there, then we'll invent one. And the one that they invent has no substance whatsoever. Yeah. So yes. you have to sometimes and remember when you remove the truth, you allow a falsehood to be able to manifest itself. That's and true. That's part of the fight. But I, I get you. I know a lot of people um, as well, good brothers of mine who, who have that same argument. Or just call me uh, brother so and so, uh, or this, that, and the other. Don't call me or call me sensei. Now you know. 
there's there's levels of degree in black belt, you know. There's, yeah. there's Shodan, first degree, there's Sensei, there's Shihan, there's Kyoshi, there's Hanshi. Yeah. And you know, I mean just on the Japanese side of related to these arts. Well, that to me is just like the military. There's privates, there's corporals, there's sergeants, mm -hmm. there's yeah. lieutenants, there's captains. And that order allows an army to move forward. Yeah. Because now you do not disobey a, an order from a captain if you're a sergeant. <laughs> Try that if you want in the military. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it don't happen. You ain't got to agree with him. You ain't got to like him or whatever. Yeah. But that respect about those people who have walked the path is now diminished because no one cares about the people that have walked before you. And this is how come no one is really getting nowhere uh, as far as learning more about the martial science. Now, the ones that do are the ones that present themselves as a family, a.k.a. the grace. This is an example. Yeah. You see, because in that family, there's brothers who follow their father, who is leading the way, who hasn't been on the mat in years. Yes. No disrespect to the Gracies, right? But you have to admire their structure of how they go about looking at what's done. Old men for counsel, young men for war. Mm. So, you know, we hear these expressions, but we understand that young people, they go to fight without experience of how to fight. You, you, you don't win, a, you may win a battle, but you won't win the war. Yes. And the war to, that we're fighting on a daily basis now is beyond the dojo. What I learned in the dojo, I have to be able to use it in the street, at, in my finance, and in my home. There has to be order in my home. You know, it, it has to be when the father says something. The father doesn't necessarily have to be around for it to take place. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have 13-year-olds now that disrespect their parents like because their friends do it. Yeah. They, they could do yeah. it because they, I didn't say 16. I didn't say 18. I said 13. 13. Yes. If somebody could bear witness to this, inbox me. Okay. So, what I'm saying to you, if you notice know the reality, what are the assurances that we're putting in place? So, I guess this is where I put in my pitch for send your kids to a martial arts school. <laughs> yes. You need to put them someplace. Yes. Where somebody is echoing what you know to be true. Yes. That's right. And if you don't, then they're going to hear the voices that tell them to, to, to go astray. You're so right. they're, they're quality martial arts teachers. And, you know, if you're listening to this, uh, Sister Deidre can tell you where to find some. I can tell you where to find some. You know, we all got like a little yellow pages in our head of where some good instructors are. <laughs> so uh, you ain't got to Google it. We can tell you. <laughs> you're right. It's okay. And you're right. You're absolutely right. Because it's yeah. really with the with the way things are now, it's, it's more needed now than than ever before. I think so. It's more needed now than ever before because you know, with the with the um, disconnect in the, um, the the generational disconnect, and you know, and like, you're right. That's you know, we, we, how would they learn if you know if they raising each other, or if they you know raising themselves, you know. Um, so you you're absolutely right. And so that's another thing that I wanted to talk to before, and I'm not going to hold you much longer. But um, so. Tell, tell, let's talk about, I know you had, since the last time we did the, the, the first mm -hmm. interview, so many things have transpired, right? Yes. So many things yes. have developed, so many, um, you know, um, you had seminars and workshops, the magazine, and just so many other things that I know you have on deck for 2023. Let's talk a little bit about some of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I said, this, uh, we're recording this the first week of January 2023. But uh, this Saturday, the seventh, I'm doing a a, a, a women's self defense seminar. There has been really uh, this motorcycle club understands the women in their particular family or whatever need to be uh, self defense conscious. So we're not on the mat or whatever, but we're putting in their head what it takes to survive. And uh, most of them are mothers. Uh, the first time I did it was on Mother's Day. And the, uh, the gentlemen in the club got together and gave that to them as a gift. Well, it went over very well, and now they want me back again. Oh, but nice. uh, that's something I'm looking forward to doing. And, you know, if I record it, I'm definitely going to give you uh, an opportunity to take a look at it as well. Okay. And that's this yeah. Saturday coming up? That's this Saturday. Uh, okay. On uh, January 7th. Okay. Um, nice. Then also in January, uh, you know, my beloved teacher, Supreme Grandmaster Dr. Moses Powell, was born January 13th. 
And uh, each year, um, some member in the family uh, gets together and throws a gathering because, you know, we're all over the place in different states. Well, this year, uh, Professor James Sims uh, out of Delaware uh, in the lower Philadelphia area and around there, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Grandmaster Safe Law and, uh, and others down there uh, are doing the seminar January 14th. Uh -huh. uh, so we'll be down there as as a family gathering. You know, we used to have this expression when Doc was with us, we said, when Doc called, we all came. And so, you know, we all want to be able to, we don't see each other during the year and stuff, but we try to make a pilgrimage during that time. So that'd be January 14th uh, this year. Uh, then my good brother, uh, uh, Vic Lassen, uh, uh, of Sea uh a South Pole uh, gentleman, uh, mm -hmm. down in South Jersey. He's doing something on that same day, but it's the evening. So, you know, the calendar would be like back. Ah, the calendar's <laughs> filled up yeah. already. Okay. <laughs> so my good brother, uh, Samuel Scott, Grandmaster Samuel Scott and others, we, we, we all got the word on that. So we, we, we said we're going to converge down there. Oh, so nice. like, that's in January too. That's, in that's, that's actually on the same day, the 14th. Oh, but it's that, okay. It's that evening. The seminar uh, is 10 o'clock in the morning to about maybe 12 or 1 o'clock. And then <laughs> that evening at 7 o'clock, we'll be down at Google Fit Glasses. Nice. And, uh, that's my January. Okay. And then um, February, um, uh, a couple of years ago, I was blessed to be a uh, cast uh, in a, uh, a TV uh, movie sitcom kind of thing uh, called Nights, uh, mm -hmm. K-N-I-G-H-T-S. So um, hopefully, uh, I've got the word that they're going to start shooting in February. So pray oh, for Oh, nice. You need to be in the movies. My friend yeah, is a movie star, yeah. y'all. You need to be. <laughs> I, I get to play a martial artist, a grandmaster at that. Uh, so I, I think but I got to show up and it's on. <laughs> yes, please so keep, me posted on, keep me posted on that, too, on the, yes, on the progress of that. Yes, ma'am. And then March is um, the third. Uh, DAOS, Deadly Art of Survival, uh, Grandmaster Nathan Ingram, uh, mm -hmm. is the chief editor of that magazine, is doing a great job. They're, they're yeah. up past their 10th edition. And wow. so, uh, and number one on Amazon uh, for every edition. And um, awesome. yeah, I was, I was actually on the cover of number five. So uh, you can look that up. It's on Amazon. Just put congratulations. it in. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I have it. Yes, yes, you're right. doing this okay. Yes, congratulations yes. to the brother too and to everybody else that's a part of that, the success of the, the magazine. It's, that's, that's a wonderful, wonderful Most thing definitely. to have. Yes. Great, great opportunity for everybody to come out. It's going to be in New York, <laughs> um, this third one on Grand Street. Uh, they probably have a big, big um, Facebook or internet presence by the okay. time we get there. But uh, if you go to Deadly Art of Survival, you can see all that information. I urge people to support this brother because he's doing some great positive things. And, uh, you know, we got to get behind the person with the mic. I always say that. You know, yeah. People yeah. Are talking, uh, whoever got the mic is the one that's being heard. But what yeah. is he saying? Yeah. And uh, this brother hasn't forgotten us. His martial art. He, he, he makes sure that everybody gets their shot in there if they put their information in. And it's the tenth edition, so we just getting started. So hopefully, awesome. um, yeah, this 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 convention is called DOSCOM three. So it's mm -hmm. the Daily Art of Survival convention number three. So okay. uh, March third and fourth, that Friday and Saturday. Uh, okay. At this point, that's what my calendar looks like up to March. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's gonna be filling all the way up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, because it's just crazy how fast it's like. 2022 was like a it was like a vapor it was like it was here and then yeah. it was like, oh yeah yeah so i'm sure this year will probably do the same so with the calendar well, we starting just to fill up back from corona, uh, corona right so yeah kind of like our first year back out to take a yeah, deep breath that's right. You know? that's right that's right that's right that's right that's so right hopefully oh, all yeah. of them to keep things moving Yes. Oh, that's awesome. And so can you can you provide your um your social media handles and um mm -hmm. and your school address and that kind of thing for people that want to reach out to train with you and follow you? I appreciate you so much, sister. Thank you for oh, that. I appreciate um, you. I, I have a, a website called a Marshall Sci, uh, S C I like in science, Marshallside.com. Mm -hmm. Um and also there's a a Patreon um uh, called TNT Combat. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look up Hassan Khalid, uh, you'll see that listed under there. 
And I'm out of Brooklyn, New York, um, out of a community center. It's the police community center. We're in that building on the third floor on Mondays and Wednesdays uh, for adults from six to eight. And uh, I teach a children's class there for, uh, for free um, okay. from four to six in that same building on the same day. Uh, and then Saturdays is the classes where, you know, I, I tutor people and we do a physical fitness kind of thing. Uh, I have a program I call TNT, which mm -hmm. is tactical neutralization training. So it doesn't put you up under any kind of martial art banner. It just brings that, you know, adults come down, get their workout on, we do some head movement in there, you know, with motor, motor skills kind of thing to make sure that you, you know, you got your, your fight game on in case my mm -hmm. dad showed. <laughs> but, um, you know, this been a cycle of just trying to make sure the community is sound. So uh, I've done some work with uh, uh, executive security people as well. Uh, I'm actually a licensed bounty hunter. So uh, when I was yeah. doing that a little bit more often, it's like uh -huh. uh, a lot of the word got around, come see me. So I, ah, I like that. Okay. You know, those guys don't have guns. Uh, they sell right. out bad guys with pepper spray. I like that. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I know nobody want to run up on you. <laughs> yeah, you need, you need to know something about something up in there because, you know, um, it, it can get kind of hairy. So, you know, it's, it's been a smorgasbord really of just trying to get it out there. Uh, um, the last time uh, you and I seen each other was down at the Deadly Art of Survival. Uh, my brother, uh, Grandmaster Samuel Scott, is doing some great stuff here in the new year as well. I look okay. forward to working with him again. Uh, when he did... Um, uh, Warriors Against Violence, uh, or about women's uh, uh, abduction and things of that nature. Let's not think that those things have just gone away because we're not talking about it. So, uh, you yeah. know, uh, we have to we have to find those programs that people are leading in charge with that really mean something that we know that these are dedicated people and mm -hmm. get with them and get beside them and, and soldier with them. You know, mm -hmm. your name doesn't have to be out front for everything. So uh, that that's kind of like my mission for uh, um, 2023. And I know I've talked to you about the having that laser sniper vision type thing. So I'm yeah. proud of you with DYC. Uh, oh, thank um, you much so much. Blessings as you move forward. Thank you. Well. And thank don't forget, you. when you come to Atlanta, what you bringing with you? Oh, you don't have okay. to bring them. I got plenty of them. So. <laughs> of both <laughs> that's right. You got to make that the mission. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. I love seeing you work that for me. And I look at some of those videos, and I'm like, wow, that's my friend right there. Wow, yeah. That's my favorite weapon. I love it. Really yes, cool. indeed. But, but um, I see you, you got so many things on the calendar, sister. I really, really do wish you well and, and, and grace and the things that you do. I, I just got a good feeling about it all. So maybe this time next year when we talk about, remember when we, we said in January? Yeah, right. Maybe by an Oprah or somebody, one of the networks will be then picked it up and we just show all the That's what I'm talking about. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your time, for your, your great energy, for your wisdom, and for all that you've done for the martial, serve, martial sciences and uh, all that you're going to do. And um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just, I'm just glad that we have a connection and, you know, you can reach out to me anytime Man. and, um, you know, I always enjoy talking to you and I appreciate you so much. Thank and, you. Uh, I wish you the best year ever. May 2023 bring you even, may it just blow your mind beyond what you can even conceive. I just pray all good things for you and for your family you and so uh, good health and all that. So, and we'll be talking really soon, okay? Most definitely. We always say eye to eye, heart to heart. Right. I thank you so much for your presence here as well. Yes, and um, as I said, train hard so we can live free, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay. God bless you. Talk to you soon.